Dark Edition of the Games. I think I love this one. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at the King of Tokyo Dark Edition. Now, I don't know if they are going to continue this idea of making all the games look like super dark in the artwork, but this one definitely looks pretty cool. So let's get down to the table. Let me show you how this game looks. Is there anything new in it? And then we'll talk some more about it. Okay, let's check out the new King of Tokyo edition. Okay, so first of all, rule book, still a pretty easy game to teach, pretty easy game to learn, super fast. There's some extra explanation for power cards, stuff like that. And uh, new board, of course, as you can see, one layer board, there's nothing underneath. So as you can see, it looks pretty, pretty cool. And you might notice over here some numbers. We are going to talk about those in a second. But yeah, this is a new board for the game. And it has like really nice glossy finish on some of these things, which is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. What you get in here, you will get a new set of dice. Th these are like black and uh, white translucent dice and they look really, really cool. I wish maybe these were a little bit darker, but still they look super, super awesome, really. And they are, of course, as the, as the last one from the regular version, they are really chunky, big dice and I like that. So power tokens are now little little thunders or little energies so they have like these these are not just the green cubes now so you will get these which look really awesome and of course you will get some tokens because some cards will use different tokens and these tokens will represent poison and some laser beams and rays depends on the card because some of the cards will use these and Let's just move this aside for now. And of course, you get what you get. Let's see, the whole thing is you know what they are, and then we'll talk about new stuff at the end. So you get the new monsters. I mean, some of them are old monsters, So, but they are reworked in this pretty, pretty cool looking artwork. This like black and white with one spot color, which looks absolutely gorgeous and I just absolutely love it. Of course, they have their player board, so we have Kraken now, not now, again. So Mecha Dragon is here. Cyber Bunny is back, he was out for the second edition. I was really saddened by that. So we have the King, the Gigazor, and the Alienoid. So both, all of them look really, really cool. And the new cards, new cards are absolutely stunningly gorgeously made they the artwork is i don't know i something about this artwork is just mesmerizing to me i am so swept by the artwork itself as you can see it looks absolutely awesome so these are the new energy cards of course you get standees for your monsters so they can stand up and the new thing in this one are these tiles and these tiles are double sided so there are green and red side you can use either side you want and how do you get this, these tiles well you are going to be playing on this board you're playing the regular uh, the regular king of tokyo as you used to and these tiles will stay on three six and ten and each of the players will get one of these tokens you will start on the number one and if you roll uh, you will start on the number zero actually and if you roll three ones you will move two spaces on this board and if you roll three twos you will move one space and as you are moving on this space you are getting more and more of these cards and these will bring you some really cool abilities like this one says sky beam you gain one extra energy for each energy and one extra life for each life that you roll that is just absolutely ridiculous and of course this is a level 10 ability so you really need to work for it to, to get it but if you get it it is just absolutely crazy what can you do with stuff like this for, for this one says at the start of your turn you gain one heart so you can still buy one eternal really really awesome thing 
or you can have this one that says underdog when you smash a monster if that monster has more experience than you you can steal one of them one of that victory points not experience victory points so yeah all kinds of different things so this is new everybody will move on this track they will try to grab these and uh, improve their monsters and yeah basically that is that that's everything that comes with this uh, dark edition of king of tokyo so that was king of tokyo dark edition and first of all let's talk about this freakingly gorgeous artwork this artwork is absolutely phenomenal now i like how how the game is like you know everything is in gray colors in black and white and all the different shades of gray and then you have like one for example this over here yellow color that really like spots out uh, this artwork even inspired me to paint some of my Warhammer min miniatures, uh, goblins to be exact. I painted them even though I used blue instead of yellow or orange or whatever. But basically it was that premise that everything is grayish and then you have just one spot color. And uh, what they did with this Dark Edition, whoever come up with this is freaking genius. Whoever did the artwork, uh, the, uh, not whoever, Sir Paul Maffeon. You, sir, are an absolutely most talented guy I saw so far. I don't know. I am just so mind blown how great this game looks. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous looking game. Now, the gameplay itself, it's pretty much King of Tokyo. You have this, as you saw, as I showed you while we were unboxing it. Uh, now, there is like some extra stuff that you can do. So you will go up this track if you manage to collect ones or twos three or more of one or two on your dice you will get uh, some experience points of course as usual but now you will progress this track and now you can uh, earn you some cards so that way now you can uh, uh, you can now have some special abilities that others don't have and they progress they get even better and better and you can mix and match them however you want and uh, that's really nice that's really cool it really reminds me of the power up expansion sort of I'm not really sure if they just incorporated power up in the base game but yeah it's now in the base game uh, it is really interesting i like it i like how it works i like what it does uh, uh, now now the, the question itself is uh, if you have the normal edition do you need this one uh, not i mean the cards are changed a little bit i think i didn't compare them to be honest but i think some cards are changed i think most definitely that some cards are new some are missing but either way, is it too much of a different game that you need to own both? Uh, I would say no, but uh, when I'm saying no, I don't know how can I say no when I check out this artwork. How can you say no to this artwork? This game just looks so gorgeous that if you like King of Tokyo and you are maybe in some dark King of Tokyo version, you will most definitely need this one. Uh, it is not essential to have it, but it is a really nice addition to collection and uh, Yeah, it, it's really I From from the reason point I would say no, but my heart says yes You really need this version because it looks way way better. It's way more eye-pleasing Not that anything was wrong with the first edition first edition had gorgeous artwork, but this just nails it I know I'm talking so much about the artwork, but uh, Basically, they are the same game with few little differences just to make them a little bit fresh, a little bit unique, and that's cool, that's really cool. But the artwork is the most different thing from the previous version, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it. I wholeheartedly recommend you check this one out. Even if you have regular King of Tokyo, maybe go for this one. Uh, not if you, if you are buying with your heart and not with the reason, that is. So, yeah. Uh, that is that I like the game. I really do with these new things uh, inserted and uh, the new look and everything It looks absolutely gorgeous. It really is a nice second edition of the game. So that is that. Thank you all for watching Thank you for subscribing uh, Please do check out my patreon There is some exclusive content coming up there that then you get it like a week in advance stuff like that Subscribe to this channel. It helps either way. If you do that, like this video, everything is optional. Nothing is that you must do. And uh, of course, do join me next time when I will be rolling dice exclusively with my left hand, the entire game. And uh, until then, Pozdrav. First of all, let's start with the rule book. With, with, with the rule book. Not with the rule book. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not really sure, but yeah. There, Something dark is coming your way.
there's something dark coming all the way. 